Yeah, I can remember. Well, I guess it was eight, nine years old, somewhere along there. And I remember seeing her do it. I guess she thought I wasn't old enough to, because she taught me to knit, but not to do the bolt. She had her own wool then. She'd oh. done her own spinning and everything. We raised her own sheep and the, washed her own wool and took it to the, it was a carding mill in Warrensburg at that time. Hmm. And they made it into rolls and she had the spin and the reel and she had the reel that she made it into a skein. We lived right near a brook. And you take it right down to the wash tubs, right down to the brook, the soft soap that we had made ourselves, and wash it, pound it out with a pounder, wooden pounder, and rinse it and everything right down there with the brook and lay it out to dry. She gathered her uh, shoe mat, was one thing she did, and better not carved. She used to knit for the lumber camp. One day they had horses, and they didn't have the trucks, they had the horses. There was a man that used to come around the name of Joe Blair. He'd come around by foot with a pack basket. Take them out and take them there and take them in. She never knit none but the mittens up. But I said that you can knit with Knit, you can knit anything. I knit best for men, big men, and let me tell you, they're heavy. I can knit a uh, pair of buff mittens in a couple of months. I just sat right there and knit, and when I'd get one done, I'd throw it to him, and he'd start clipping, I'd start the next one. We used to use grain sacks. Hmm. Grain came in a pretty sack. We'd get enough of one kind to make it the back of the quilt. I like to keep the art going.